I would like to show you a couple of tips I have on how to do the food searches and how to save information for further lookups. Let's start with one of these websites, nutrition.gov, what's in food, the tool, this page, and then here you click online. And here you are now in the place where you're ready to enter what food you want. You'll notice that in this particular website, you'll get closer to the results you want if you put in the right food. So for instance, raw apple, for just an apple won't make you scroll through the hundreds of things that are made with apple in it. So here we are right in the place we wanna be and then we're going to the size of it and view. So once you're at this page, I'd like you to notice that it's got all the information you're gonna need for lookups to go with week six, week seven, week 10, and week 12, and if needed, the final exam. And you could do a file save as here, file save page as, and it will make a HTML page for you, which will save. You can save it on your desktop. So here it is right here, saved on my desktop. And I can open it up and and have the information ready for me when I am ready to do a lookup that talks about the vitamins in an apple. To save the search items that you do in the first lookup uh, in week six for all the future weeks, then you won't have to keep going back. You can also, you can see here, you can also print it out and have it all ready to go for you. And you know, put them in a folder. I wanted to show you is in this particular website, nutritiondata.com, you can join for free and you can save these as favorites for yourself. And so then you don't really have to save it into a separate folder on your desktop, but you could have it here, the place for you to go and find the data in the future once you log on to your account within this program. And you can see it's got a different way of breaking it down, but all very detailed. It has actually a little bit more information here just uh, for your interest. It can give you a, a real quick heads up on the macronutrient balance or if you're interested in the glycemic load and the inflammation factor. And then, wow, look at all this other good stuff it's listing in. At some point, you're going to the very end of the semester, you'll need to know how much water is in the items that you eat as well. So you could also do a screen capture of the information and save it on your desktop. So if you didn't take a screenshot of the information that's listed here when you do a lookup, or you didn't save it, or you don't have an account, then, or you print it out, then if you want to just continue to look it up, you could just have it be side by side. Just open up a, a, another browser, so you could have a couple of browsers open if you wanted. And then you could plug in the information here next to it. So I looked up a, a turkey sandwich, and I got as close as I could to what I ate. It was, a, it was an RV sandwich with uh, Swiss cheese. And so my portion is one, one um, regular. And then I'm gonna list everything here, fiber, five sugars, right there, 16. Um, the calories was a whopping 720. And the total grams of carbs listed here is 74, so pretty high. And protein was pretty amazing as well. Let's see, the protein was 45, and the fat grams, 27. This is really um, a pretty full on meal. And so you can see that it's adding up the totals at the bottom. And then I can just go to something else because I have taken the information I need for this particular search. But just to know that other details are down here waiting for you if you wanted to save that information in some way. But then let's just say I'm going to go to my next item and it's going to be um, a soda. Let's see, Coca-Cola. And it's a regular, so it's not diet. And let's look that up. Let's see if it lets me look up Cola, Cola Classic. Okay. And the next most important thing will be getting the right size. So maybe it was a 12 ounce. 
and it's going to give us the information here. So let's let's see. There's probably no fiber in there. Uh -huh. And the sugars, because it's not diet, the sugars are quite high. And calories, 136. And so out of the carbs, it has 33 sugars. So that's pretty high in sugars for the amount of carbs. So that shows us it's a simple carb. And the protein, of course, zero. And fat, zero. So this is starting to add up. And so this is one way that you can plug along and enter your items. So once you have plugged in your food items with portion, and then items such as carbs, protein, and fat, that information will be reappearing for you automatically in week seven, week 10, and week 12. So you don't have to re-enter a lot of these things. What you'll be entering new each week are some of these different columns here pertaining to our content area, which would be either be the fats, the vitamins, or the minerals. So this hopefully will help you to realize that there's some repetition, although there will be some information that is carried over for you. And now the formulas are automatically doing the calculations so that you can spend your time analyzing the information um, and getting to know your foods and you know whether foods are high in carbs, are they high in protein, and um, what, are, what are the nutritious qualities to different foods.